Rub-a-dub-dub, three men in a tub. My, how unsanitary. I'm so happy, oh, so happy, I could shout with glee. The thing I've always wanted has finally come to me. Even when I was a boy, I used to ask my dad, say, why can't I have one like that? He'd say, go away, my lad. I felt so small and puny beside the other men. But what could you expect, my friends? Because I was only ten. Now, Pop said, if you'll be patient, son, and do your very best, I'll tell you a few secrets, and nature will do the rest. My father had a thick one, was just as big as this. I used to hide and watch him as he'd flick it at a miss. My uncle had a cute one. It was ooh, so small and thin. And though the men all laughed at him, he'd say, this thing ain't tin. My grandpa had a big one. Ooh, wow, was that a beaut. I give you my word of honor, it hung halfway down his suit. It makes no difference what the size or even if it's colored. Long or short, fat or thin, as long as the thing is solid. As I got a little older, mine started in to grow. Just what it would finally look like, I really didn't know. I would nurse it and pat it, and I'd give it every care. I'd stand before the mirror for hours and just stare. I'd measure it each morning. To me, it was such a treat to find that it had grown some. That's a thrill it can't be beat. Now, all my work was not in vain. They call me Dapper Dan. I've got a full-grown mustache. Today, I am a man. Rub-a-dub-dub, three men in a tub. My, how interesting. Move over, boys.